What's up techies? Did you know that you can customize the student course player? That is the dashboard that your students see when they're taking your courses. And better than that, you can actually customize that player for every course that you have individually. So we're going to go into sites and courses, memberships and courses, click on products, then click on the course of the course player that you want to edit. So once you're inside your course, you're going to click on customize, and this will take you to the area where you can actually customize customize that student course player, the dashboard that they're going to see. Now, at the moment at the time of filming this, there are three different layouts. There may be more by the time you're watching this. Um, and you can see here, this is basically um, a, an editable area that the student's going to be seeing when they log into your courses. You can actually just click on preview and I'm going to show you in this video just what each of them look like. Um, it's very, very easy to just apply them and get them live. So this is what the first one called classic layout looks like. Obviously, you can change your fonts, the sizes, the colors, the buttons. You can change the backgrounds. You can change all of the menu, change your logos. This is the absolute plain skeleton, but it's more in terms of the layout that you're going to have. So your student will basically see, you know, start the course, take the course, enroll, you know, whatever wording you want to set it to. It shows how many of the lessons they've completed. Your instructor bio will show up here um, and it shows all of the modules and lessons along the right hand side. So that's the first one. That's the classic layout. Next one we have is the New York layout. So I'm going to take you into the preview of this one, show you what that looks like to the student. All right, so this one, again, everything is completely customizable, colors, fonts, sizes, background images, menus, absolutely everything, as well as all the thumbnails. Now you do obviously have the Canva thumbnail templates if you do wanna use mine, uh, but this is obviously, as you can see, a slightly different layout. Um, you've got your lessons completed there and your lessons all show up in a grid like this. So uh, depending on how you want it laid out and this one here flicks to the different modules. So I only have one module in this example course. If I had multiple modules, I'd have to click the arrow here. Now, I personally find this one uh, it could be confusing for students because of the fact you have to click through to get to the different modules. Um, some people may not realize they have to click through. So uh, this one isn't my personal favorite. I do uh, tend to prefer the classic layout because it's a lot more simple. Uh, now, going back, the last one we have here is the new. Uh, we're going to just press preview on this one and take a little look at how that one looks to the student as well. Uh, quite like this one, it will open up the video. Uh, it's straight in the screen for the student. They can mark as complete, select the next lesson. The instructor shows up there. If you have any download buttons, they show up here. If you've got any text in your lesson, that will also show up underneath as well. And you can see on the left-hand side, navigation is actually really nice for the students. If I had more modules, uh, the next module would show up in a different color font here. Um, so I find that it's really easy for students to navigate because the modules would just continue on down the left-hand side and students could basically continue to click through their content. You see here on this one, um, I've actually got some text in that particular session. Uh, that also had a download with it as well. Um, so that's what the new or newy, however you pronounce that word, <laughs> layout is here. Now, of course, if you wanted to customize any of these, um, you simply just select the customize button. So if I was going for that middle New York style, um, it would open up in the editing area and give me a load of options in terms of how I wanted this to be presented to the students. So you see here we've got layout and sections. Uh, so if we go on to sections, we can actually change the header area. So I'd click on the header to change that background image, um, the hero image there. Um, you can see here we can change all these font styles, sizes, colors, alignment, everything. Lesson progress bar, we can edit that. And uh, I'm going to have to lift some of these back up so I can see who passed my head, move my big old head. Uh, and then, of course, you can press save changes or reset it back if you're not happy with those particular functions. Uh, we can go to uh, layout here, click on theme settings. Again, make all of our different changes over here as well. So there's a lot of customization that you can do. Uh, really make it look like your own. The students obviously wouldn't know that you're using Techmatics at all. So there you go. That's just a, a little brief overview of how you can customize the course player. And as I said, you can do that per product. So you can even use all of these different themes, uh, different ones for different courses, depending on the target student that you think might be taking that course and how they prefer to engage with your content. If any questions, email us on support at techmatics.com. Otherwise, happy teching.